Welcome back to the final part of our comprehensive series on construction contracts. If you've been with us from the beginning, thank you for joining us on this journey. By now, you're well versed in various contract types, and today, we're bringing it all together in part four. In this episode, we'll dive deep into some of the most strategic contract types, those that go beyond the basics and require a more nuanced understanding. Whether it's fixed price redetermination contracts, cost sharing contracts, or incentive contracts, we'll be breaking down when to use each, how they can impact your project's bottom line, and what risks you should be aware of. But remember, the goal here is not just to memorize definitions, but to truly understand the strategy behind each contract type. Because as a project leader, the contract you choose can make or break your project's success. So, if you want to make informed decisions that drive project profitability and stakeholder satisfaction, you're in the right place. We've put countless hours into researching, scripting and producing this series to ensure it's packed with valuable information and practical insights. If you've found value in this series so far, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support truly motivates us to continue bringing high-quality educational content to the community. And by subscribing, you'll be the first to know whenever we upload new content that can help you stay ahead in your construction career. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and join us as we wrap up this series with a powerful finish. Ready? Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the Fixed Price Redetermination Contract, a type of agreement designed to provide flexibility in uncertain situations. A fixed price redetermination contract is a contract where the initial price is set based on preliminary estimates, but is subject to adjustment at a later date based on predetermined criteria. The final price is redetermined after more detailed cost information becomes available. This contract type is often used in scenarios where there's uncertainty about the project's scope or costs at the outset. It allows both parties to start the project without waiting for exact cost details while still providing a mechanism to adjust the price later. Advantages. Flexibility for adjustments. As more accurate cost information becomes available, the contract price can be adjusted to reflect actual conditions, accommodating changes in project scope or external factors. Reduces financial risk. It reduces the financial risk for both the owner and the contractor by allowing for adjustments based on actual costs rather than preliminary estimates. Realistic initial cost estimations. This approach promotes thorough and realistic cost estimations, knowing that adjustments can be made if necessary. Fair compensation for contractors. It ensures that the contractor is fairly compensated for actual costs incurred, leading to higher quality work and better project outcomes. While the fixed price redetermination contract offers flexibility, it also comes with a few notable disadvantages that can complicate project management. Disadvantages. Added complexity. The process of redetermining the contract price can add complexity and require detailed cost tracking and documentation, making it more challenging to manage. Risk of disputes. Differences in interpreting the criteria for price adjustment can lead to disputes between the owner and the contractor, potentially causing delays and disruptions. Ongoing administrative effort. Managing the redetermination process requires ongoing monitoring and administrative effort to ensure accurate cost reporting and smooth adjustments. Uncertain final cost. The final project cost remains uncertain until the redetermination is completed which can complicate budgeting and financial planning for the owner. Understanding these drawbacks can help you prepare better strategies for managing a fixed price redetermination contract and minimize the impact of these challenges on your project's success. Let's discuss the cost sharing contract, an agreement designed to promote collaboration and shared responsibility in project execution. A cost-sharing contract is an agreement where the owner and the contractor share the project costs according to a predetermined ratio or percentage. This type of contract is often used in collaborative projects where both parties benefit from cost savings and efficiency improvements. The contract outlines how costs will be divided, including direct costs, such as materials and labor, and indirect costs, like overheads and administrative expenses. Advantages. Shared financial stake. 
Both parties have a financial stake in the project's cost efficiency, which encourages collaborative efforts to minimize expenses and optimize project performance. Balanced financial risk. This contract distributes financial risks between the owner and the contractor, reducing the burden on any single party. Alignment of interests. It fosters an alignment of interests as both parties benefit from cost savings and efficient project execution. Flexibility in scope changes. This contract allows for adjustments in scope and costs without the need for renegotiating the entire contract, creating a more adaptable project environment. This type of contract is ideal for projects that require a high level of collaboration and transparency, ensuring that both parties are motivated to achieve cost-effective and high-quality results. In the next part, we'll cover the potential drawbacks of this contract type and discuss strategies for maximizing its benefits. Stay tuned. While the cost-sharing contract encourages collaboration and shared responsibility, there are some notable disadvantages that need to be considered. Disadvantages. Complex tracking and documentation. This contract requires detailed tracking and documentation of all project costs to ensure accurate cost sharing, which can increase administrative efforts and complicate project management. Risk of disputes. Differences in interpreting cost sharing terms and calculating costs can lead to disputes between the owner and the contractor, potentially affecting project timelines and relationships. Uncertain final project cost. The total project cost remains uncertain until project completion, which complicates budgeting and financial planning for the owner. Need for robust monitoring. Effective monitoring and control mechanisms are essential to manage shared costs and prevent cost overruns, making implementation challenging in some projects. These challenges highlight the need for a well-defined framework and strong communication between parties to ensure smooth execution of a cost-sharing contract. Next, we'll discuss how to mitigate these disadvantages and establish effective cost-sharing strategies. Stay tuned. Now let's explore the incentive contract, a dynamic type of agreement that aims to boost performance and efficiency. An incentive contract is an agreement where the contractor is rewarded for achieving specific performance targets, such as cost savings, early project completion, or exceeding quality standards. These incentives are typically financial bonuses, although other forms of rewards can be included depending on the contract terms. The contract clearly outlines the performance criteria and the corresponding incentives, providing strong motivation for the contractor to exceed baseline expectations. Advantages. Financial motivation for better outcomes. Provide strong financial motivation for the contractor to meet or exceed performance targets, which can lead to significantly better project outcomes. Effective cost management. Encourages the contractor to manage costs efficiently, to earn incentives for cost savings, benefiting both the contractor and the owner with potential cost reductions. Timely completion. Incentives for early project completion can lead to faster project delivery, reducing the overall project duration and associated costs. Focus on quality. Rewards for exceeding quality standards encourage the contractor to focus on delivering high quality work, improving the overall project outcome. This type of contract is ideal for projects where performance is a top priority and both parties want to ensure that the highest standards of efficiency, cost management and quality are achieved. Next, we'll discuss the potential disadvantages of using incentive contracts and how to overcome them. Stay tuned. Incentive contracts can drive performance and efficiency. They also come with several disadvantages that need to be carefully managed. Disadvantages Complex management. Managing and administering incentive contracts requires detailed tracking and documentation of performance metrics, adding administrative complexity to the project. Potential for disputes. Differences in interpreting performance criteria and calculating incentives can lead to disputes between the owner and the contractor, affecting project timelines and relationships. Risk of cutting corners. The contractor may be tempted to cut corners or compromise on other aspects of the project to achieve performance targets and earn incentives, which could impact overall project quality. Higher initial cost and complexity. 
Setting up and negotiating incentive structures can increase the initial cost and complexity of the contract, making it challenging to implement in projects with limited resources. Understanding these potential drawbacks will help you put effective monitoring and control mechanisms in place to ensure the success of an incentive contract. Let's take a look at the Fixed Price Incentive Contract, a strategic contract that combines the certainty of a fixed price with performance-based incentives to motivate contractors. A Fixed Price Incentive Contract is a type of agreement where the contractor is offered financial incentives for achieving specific performance targets, such as cost savings, timely completion, or enhanced quality, all within a fixed price framework. The contract sets a target cost, target profit, and a formula for adjusting profit based on the contractor's performance against the target cost. If the contractor can deliver the project under the target cost or complete it ahead of schedule, they may earn additional profit. Advantages Strong cost and schedule control this contract provides a strong incentive for the contractor to manage costs and schedules effectively, leading to potential cost savings and timely project completion. Cost minimization. While the contract price is fixed, the incentive mechanism encourages the contractor to minimize costs and avoid overruns. Alignment of interests. It aligns the contractor's financial interests with the project goals, ensuring a focus on meeting or exceeding performance targets. Encourages innovation. The potential for additional profit motivates contractors to find innovative solutions and efficiencies in project delivery. Next, we'll discuss thus the potential risks and disadvantages of using fixed price incentive contracts, along with strategies to manage these challenges. Stay tuned. While the fixed price incentive contract can drive strong performance, it also comes with several disadvantages that need to be carefully managed. Disadvantages. Complex setup and management. Setting up and managing the incentive structure requires careful planning and detailed tracking of performance metrics, which can add complexity to the project. Risk of disputes. Differences in interpreting performance criteria and calculating incentives can lead to disputes between the owner and the contractor, potentially affecting project harmony and execution. Quality trade-offs. The contractor may prioritize cost savings or speed over quality in order to achieve performance targets and earn incentives, which could lead to subpar project outcomes. Increased cost and complexity. Developing a fair and effective incentive structure can increase the initial cost and complexity of the contract, making it harder to implement in projects with limited resources. Understanding these potential drawbacks will help you build a robust incentive structure that motivates the right behaviors while maintaining project quality. Let's wrap up our discussion with the Letter Contract, a flexible contract type used to kickstart urgent projects. A letter contract, also known as an undefinitized contract action, is a preliminary contractual agreement that allows work to begin even before the final terms and conditions are fully negotiated. This type of contract is typically used when there is an urgent need to start work immediately and waiting for a fully defined contract would cause unacceptable delays. The letter contract outlines the basic terms, scope of work and a not to exceed amount that provides initial funding for the contractor to commence the project. Advantages Immediate start Enables immediate commencement of work which is crucial for urgent or time sensitive projects. Allows time for detailed negotiations. Provides time for finalizing contract details while the work is already in progress, ensuring project momentum is maintained. Prevents delays. Helps maintain project momentum and avoids delays that could occur if work had to wait for the full contract. Quick mobilization of resources. Ensures that resources can be mobilized quickly to address critical project needs without waiting for lengthy negotiations. Disadvantages. Uncertainty in terms. The lack of finalized terms and conditions can lead to uncertainties and potential disputes between the owner and the contractor as the project progresses. Budget limitations. The not to exceed amount may not be sufficient to cover all costs, leading to potential budget overruns and additional negotiations. Ongoing monitoring needed requires careful monitoring and documentation to manage the transition from the letter contract to the final contract, adding to the administrative burden. Misalignment in expectations. 
Differences in expectations between the owner and the contractor can arise if the final contract terms differ significantly from the preliminary agreement. This brings us to the end of our series on contract classifications. If you found this series informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support the channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest uploads and gain access to more valuable content on construction management and project success. Thank you for being part of this journey and we'll see you in our next series.